Shot the first time I see my channel, user review cartoon series, anime series, so something computer random. And today we're talking about the first impression of Magic Go Friendship Squad and also the wildlife, the first episode of both series. Now let's talk about Magic Go Friendship Squad is because it's not the first time I actually reviewed this series, and probably the, not the last. But this one is sort of interesting because it's not a new series, it's basically a reboot. You don't understand that, I mean, this is actually about seven years old now, where it's, it has sort of a mini-series, Have like each episode was like five minutes long, and basically making fun of a Magic Girl genre, but also not appreciating it. But also sort of a question, what would happen if you put a Magic Girl genre with a full adults who actually don't know how to take care of themselves? And that's basically the whole joke of the series. There's two ladies who are not responsible to stay in the world, but at the end they really don't give a crap. And they try, they keep failing, but at the end they succeed. And that's basically the whole idea of this series. But this time, they decided to this minute reboot, extend that to 11 minutes, and explore a little bit more about the characters. Because in the series, you do understand the characters, but you don't understand their back life. You don't know what they did, who they are, who are the relationship, what are their problems. And this series tried to reset that and make sure to understand the characters this time. They do add new things, but some things are kind of similar. Like the first episode of the original one is the same episode of this new spin-off series or reboot this series because it's the same characters just change the design, the hair, and their sort of skin tone a little bit more different and make them basically HCWs. And that you think would be ruined the series because you put HCW. Do not worry, they actually making fun of HCWs and seeing how hypocrite they really are, but at the same time have the real moments to be right. So that's one of the series that it makes sure the characters are completely flawed. And that I kinda glad. Not the question they have well executed. Uh yes and no. It's something that I can't really explain you right now because this is just still the first episode, and you see they're sort of struggling to figure out what direction to go to the characters. But that said, it does show promise and something that I kind of will me watch the, the whole series to see if they prove their original uh, work but besides that I sort of recommend it if you were a fan of the original or you've never seen it before I still recommend watch the first episode who knows you probably like it but besides that let's talk about the new other new series called the wildlife and yes this is original animated series because sci-fi actually stopped and actually think we knew a new IP and find yes and this show has a really interesting idea about this sort of end of the world sort of kind of cliche you think it will be following a human being but no you follow this cheetah named Glenn. Glenn is basically a chillax kind of guy who basically lays in his own home who has therapy about this dead skeleton to ask himself he doesn't want to be a carnivore he just want to be a normal person he doesn't want to be this sort of stereotype but at the very end you can see him Glenn could be crazy but at the same time he just talked to himself with this dead body to make sure he doesn't go ballistic ballistic he has sort of animal urges he has to sort of control he doesn't control it he'd go crazy and rip people to pieces so you can see why he's trying not to be a carnivore he's trying to be chillax relax but unfortunately one of his best friends last like I have a crush on this sort of female dolphin who needs help to clean her water because the water becomes sort of poisonous so he goes to his other best friend called when the panda who helps him go to the mall to get a filter and clean water but at the end is still in the world they have to look for human beings because human beings see him and they want to rip him a piece him and eat him it could be a normal human being or mutated being that Glenn needs to deal with with his friends and that is kind of very interesting because you see a different point of view of this type of show you see Glenn's point of view the, the person who trying to be a pacifist a kind person and of course, you can't be a kind person in the end of the world, and you see that is kind of like where the comments go. Trying to see how he controls, trying to be a pleasant person, but at the end, 
push come to shove, Glenn becomes this sort of crazy wild animal and rip people to pieces. And once more, he feels sorry because of that. And that is sort of relatable, interesting, and hilarious all the same time. And on top of all this, the whole world was created about this wildlife. It's pretty interesting because you kind of wonder what did this happen? How the world sort of ends? Yeah, I know that's sort of the cliche to think that sort of ideas, but done right, it does grab your attention, and this one does do it perfectly. It does grab all your attention to see it. So basically, I'm saying I highly recommend Watch the Wildlife. It's worth watching. Well, I've got nothing really else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Bye.